Papa's got a brand new bag. What's up, YouTube man? I'm back. Look, I got to review this bag. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. I am so excited about it. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I have found the best doggone bag in the universe. This one is the Timba DNA Slim. It's actually a camera bag. I know you can't tell from the way it looks, but it's actually a camera bag. And this is the slim version of the DNA, um, the DNA 15. They only, they only have the slim version uh, for this 15 size. They have different sizes. Uh, you can get whichever one you need. I found this one to be the perfect size, especially since it was slim. Since it's a camera bag, um, you know, a lot of them are really fat because, you know, people carry it around those big old DSLRs. But I've converted over to two mirrorless cameras. I use the A5100 and an A6000, and I have four lenses. Wait a minute. Is it four or five? I think I got four or five lenses. I got a long zoom. I've got two primes. I got a 50 and a 35, and I got a 16, and the one it came with, that standard uh, zoom lens. Anyways, I got a lot of lenses, right? Also, I got, you know, video stuff. Like, I got, you know, my voice recorder. I pack around a Mavic, and, you know, you got your, you got all your stuff, right? You just need a place for your stuff. Now, everybody's not a vid videographer or photographer, so I'm gonna demonstrate how I use this bag as my everyday bag, even when I'm not packing around my my camera equipment because I wanted this one because it doesn't look like a camera bag um, and it can I mean it has a ha, kind of a sporty everyday look but it can also be used you know in a lot of business areas or business casual areas as well uh, the, you know it's not leather and it like this it's got this water resistant material right here hence the noise that you hear but it actually is a nice fabric and as you wear the bag in it actually gets a little quieter but uh, one thing I really do like about this bag is the clasp okay so before we get in here and start seeing all my stuff I know y'all want to see my stuff let's take a little tour around the bag man I got some good points to point out around this about this bag all right so first of all the clasp okay so you can't just jerk on them okay they actually come off you got to slide them this way okay but you don't have to slide them back on they automatically magnetize oh man that's gangster you just push it over like that and then you just push them on or just get them in the vicinity they yeah they don't come off like that get them in the vicinity and then they just clip on just like that now the zippers the zippers all around this thing on the outside however smooth zippers man you see that they got this like rubber um i don't know we're gonna call it a pull tab but they got this little rubber surrounding on it and it just man, it just glides man the zipper's all good okay got a zipper here we'll talk about this one in a second um let's see what else is on the outside that i like about this bag this shoulder strap is that's what's up this is how show look bag companies you need to start making shoulder straps like this one this shoulder strap does not move. It's got these little feet like these, like a, you know, the octopus have, <laughs> you know, kind of just, they're, they're not suction cups, but they're just kind of like silicone dots, right? And it basically grips onto your shirt or whatever, your jacket, and it stays there. So, you know, sometimes you'd be wearing a mesh in the bag and the, the pad ends up down here or back here. So you don't have none of that. It actually stays put. I like this nice wide, man, this is straight up seat belt material right here. This is not, you know, some regular old nylon stuff. They just went to a car and said, hey man, grab that seat belt. Let's put that on a bag. I'm digging it though. This handle right here, it's got a nice plush feel to it. It's not overly done and it's on the bag. It's not gonna be ripping. So if you wanna carry it by the handle, you're good to go. Oh, I also like, a lot of messenger bags do not come with detachable um, uh, straps. And you know, even though I've kept mine on cause I actually really like it. Um, you can actually detach this one. You just push the hook in and it just comes right off just like that. So I love that about this bag. All right, so as far as the front of the bag, that's it. Let's turn this bad boy around the back side so we can take a tour. We got another zipper here, another pocket we'll get into in a second. But you can also take this one, uh, you know, slap it on your luggage, on your carry-on. Do that Velcro just like that and just slide that, that uh, carry-on handle in there. Uh, but right here, you got these two hooks that get to tuck away see this one was actually tucked away in a little pocket right here this one was hanging out because there's actually a, a, a waist strap that comes with the bag you can actually put this around your waist that way you can actually you know maybe do some running or jogging maybe you're missing the train or the bus or something and you need to get your jog on you know this thing ain't gonna be flapping all over the place so i like that they put that there i don't use it um i don't think i've ever used it to be honest with you so i just keep my tucked in right there on either side of the bag you got this mesh pocket right here i actually keep my jbl clip in here um and in this particular one right here i just got it you know strapped on just like that that way i always have some a speaker with me when i'm on the go but you can put a water bottle in there whatever have you and on the other side you got one too bam 
All right, so now let's get into the good stuff, man. Let's go into these pockets, man. I know y'all want to see this stuff that's in my bag. All right, so let's open up. Oh, oh, I forgot something. Okay, so you got Velcro, right? Oh, you hear that? Some people can't stand Velcro. I actually like it. I don't mind it. But if you're a photographer in a quiet room and can't be making a whole lot of noise, you just pull down just like this and then you pull up and it's you see there is hardly any noise there let's try that again so if you pull it straight up you got that velcro sound put it down pull down and then pull up and no velcro sound all right so let's open this bad boy up oh you know what let's go into these pockets real quick on the front so you got this big old pocket right here right big one a lot of times i just put you know stuff i need to get quickly like you know i don't know maybe some keys or you know your phone or something just put that in this big pocket because i got I ain't gonna say my hands are huge, but I can't fit my hand in this pocket right here. Just fingers, okay? So in this pocket right here, let me see if I dig my fingers in there, I got some some breath, some this is some some nice ice to keep that breath nice and fresh. All right, then I got my chapstick in here. What else is in there? Oh man, you got to have this. Oh man, you got to. Let me see. All right, so you got a little dental floss, man. Cause sometimes you be eating that, that stuff, man. It gets in your teeth and people don't tell you about it. So you got to keep that dental floss. And I always keep, you know, some spark. Y'all go back and watch my spark video. This stuff is great. I use it all the time. I got to keep me one in there for myself. Put this back in there. All right. Now let's go into the flap. All right, let's open that up. Don't forget, you can put an ID or something in there, some type of uh, card or a business card, maybe an ID card, um, not an ID, but you know what I mean, something to identify yourself saying, hey, this is my bag, just in case somebody found it and wanted to return it and be a good Samaritan. All right, so let's go in here real quick. Now, let me see if I can tilt this over a little bit. So now we're on the inside of the bag, right? Now we got four pockets. These are deep, these front two, right? Super deep pockets. My whole stinking hand fits in this pocket. Then we got these two, which are a little bit more shallow. And in this pocket, I got my microfiber cleaning cloth. All right, now let's go on the inside. Now this might be difficult to see. Let me see. I got, and can I open this up? Turn this this way. All right, look in here, man. Oh, do you see that right there? Do you see all the room that's in this bag? You gonna understand why I love this bag so much. All right, so we got a pocket here, a pocket there, and a zipper pocket here. And then we got your main slots and I'm gonna go into all this stuff. I just wanted y'all to see the inside of this bag real quick. All right, so let me look in here and see what all my goodies are. So I got a pin slot on each side flanking. Oh, wait, oh, that's right. We, oh, that's right, we got two pin slots here. I don't know who carries this many pins, but this bag has so many pin slots. You can fit two pins in each one of these. Then you got on the inside, two more pin pockets uh, in here. I have a pin in here, bam, there it is. All right, now I keep my Wi-Fi hotspot right there in this pocket, it's pretty deep. Then on the other pocket, I keep my uh, Surface Pro mouse uh, because it actually does work with my uh, HP computer. All right, let's open up the pocket that's adjacent to the front here. See what we got in here. And this is just, you know, stuff I put in my bag, man. I keep keep a Leatherman on here because, uh, you know, sometimes you just need, sometimes you need some pliers, sometimes you need a knife, sometimes you need a screwdriver. This is your Boy Scout tool right here. All right, let me see. Some Velcro, a Velcro zip tie, just in case I need to tie up some wires. And that is all for that particular compartment. Let me see, let me zip this one up. All right, now we're getting into the fun stuff. My wife calls this my tech purse. You know what, I don't care what she says, man. If you're a techie or anybody who cares a lot of crap with you, you just need to keep your stuff organized. So I keep all my goodies right there, all my wires and stuff that I don't use all the time, but all my stuff is in there just in case I need it. So I keep that in there right there. It's nice and flat, so I just put that in just like that. Then of course, I got to have some headphones, man. These are the uh, Bluteo vinyls right here. Uh, I like these headphones for on the go because they look grown up. You know, they're not super big and they, I mean, they kind of match everything I have. I love the design of these things and they sound good. Let me put these up real quick. Now, you got a tablet pocket right here. This thing is super deep. This is an eight inch tablet right here. This is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 and it's, an, it's the eight inch version and it fits, I mean, it'll fit horizontal and it, man, it goes so deep into there and it can fit vertical and it's still, I mean, I still got a lot of room in there. So you can put that in there any way you want to in that tablet slot, maybe not putting a tablet in there, but it is padded on the top and bottom and the sides. Then back here, you got a slot for your tablet. I actually keep a little notebook on this side and my pen just fell out. Maybe I should put it in one of those pen slots. Let me put that back in there before I lose it. But I do keep my trusty HP Spectre 360 up in here. And it's nice and snug. It's, it's well padded, front, back, and bottom. So you can actually put the bag down and not worry about 
smashing up your tablet. And that's all for the inside. It's got a lot of space in here, man. I'm digging this bag. All right, so let's say you're wearing this bag, right? And you got it all fixed up and you don't feel like doing the Velcro. You don't feel like undoing your little latches right there. You actually have access to get into the, oh yes, to get into the top of this bag. So right there, everything I just showed you that I pulled out, I can actually access it right here. Even the laptop, man. The laptop still slides out of this opening right here, just like that. That is so cool how you can just get in there. A lot of times I don't even do the flap. I just use the zipper. I find it to be more convenient that way, especially when it's on my shoulder. That way I don't have to deal with that flap, okay? So that's just how I use it for my everyday stuff. Generally, if I'm walking around and I got this bag on, like that's how I'm rolling like that. But sometimes I gotta do a little video work or some, you know, a little bit of mild photography. I'm not a photographer. I just like taking pictures, okay? So, but sometimes you gotta open this bag up and you gotta convert it to what you need. So let's say, hmm, what am I gonna take with me? Let's take these headphones out real quick. Let's take this out because it actually comes with, let me show you, let me put this bag to the side. It actually comes with uh, a camera insert. This thing is, this is the best camera insert I've ever used because it has two layers. You can't really see it, but I'm just gonna unpack it real quick and pack it back up. That way you can see how I have all my stuff in here. Now, a lot of times I, I like to carry both cameras. Now the camera I'm shooting this video on is an A5100 uh, and it's a super small camera and it can squeeze in anywhere here. Um, in my opinion, it can go anywhere. But this is the A6000 with a 35 millimeter lens on it right here. So we got that in there. So now there's a little shelf, right? So you just flip this shelf up and now I can have my, what is this? The Sony, uh, this is the 55 to 210. That's my long range lens right there. And that's empty. That part, See how deep that is? Man, that's my whole wrist. You see where it stops at my watch? My whole hand fits in there, okay? On this side, yeah, buddy, you got that Mavic. You can slide your whole Mavic in there, all right? And you can put your batteries anywhere you want to, any, anywhere inside the bag. Now that one's empty, okay? Because the Mavic took up all that space. Then we have the uh, the Sony 50 millimeter uh, prime lens. And here we have the, uh, this is your stock lens that comes with basically all your Sony mirrorless cameras. I think it's 16 to 55 millimeter. Uh, 16 to 50, there it is. All right, so we got another shelf here on this side. And this is how I have mine arranged. This thing is fully configurable to whatever you need it to be. All right, so now on this side, I have my Mavic controller and I usually carry my voice recorder in here, but I'm actually using it right now. A couple of spare batteries from my cameras and microfiber cleaning cloth. Got your lavalier mic in here. It's so much stuff. This is crazy, man. Let me pack this up because I'm actually gonna go out and shoot another video in just a second and I actually need all this gear. Put that flap down, put this down, just like that. Okay, put the Mavic back in his little house. Let's put it in that way. I put the long range in there. Let's see, uh oh. Put the flap down and then put the Sony A6000 back in there and you're good to go. Now, how does all this fit in this bag, man? Well, you're gonna see, you're gonna learn today. Let me put this in here. All right, so, oh yeah, you got two extra pockets right here in case you need to slide some paperwork or maybe some extra wires in this right here. Pockets on pockets on pockets. Man, you got a place to store all of your goodies. So you just basically just slide this bad boy in here just like this. It's kind of hard to do sitting at a table like this. I'm usually doing it standing up, but it it fits, trust me. All right, there we go. All right, so everything is in there. All right, and the bag is, I would say this bag is at full capacity, man. Go ahead and close this up. Then you can slide around the back. Now look, I forgot to tell y'all about this pocket right here. It's actually another pocket. I got more stuff here, man. So much stuff is going on in this bag. This is nuts. All right, we got literally, let me see. I got four more pins because there's two gigantic pen slots there. And you got a little pocket right here. And I have my 26,000 milliamp uh, battery pack here. Let me see. I got some wires in there so I can charge my goodies. All right, let me see. On this side, it's another deep pocket that will house, you know, something about that size. Then you got a little slot right here where I keep, you know, a couple of business materials. So maybe if I wanted to, I could slide my, um, let's go ahead and do it, man. Let's just do it. All right, let's slide this tech person here. Let's fill this bag up, man. All right, let's see if it'll zip. Stuff it down in there, get it nice and tight. All right, and boom. All right, so I got my tech person here. This bag is it's full, it's full to capacity, man. But check it out, I still got some more room because they, did not take up all the space with the uh, with the insert. You can actually, I actually like to carry it. I love this tripod, man. This is like my, this is like my selfie stick 
slash monopod slash tripod. You can actually put that in here on the side because they did not take up all the room and it fits in there just like that. And for those of you who need to pack around a tripod, I like the Manfrotto. Uh, this is like some action uh, tripod. I know a lot of them are bigger than this one. I like this one because it's probably the, the tallest, most compact, like it's the tallest compact tripod you'd probably find. Then it's got this pistol grip right here. So everything fits as you just saw, but maybe if you need a tripod, you can just lay it across like that. And then you can adjust these straps. So you got your Velcro here. You can just adjust these straps and then clip it on just like that. It's nice and secure, ain't going nowhere. And then you got your bag full, stuffed to the brim. All right, so I, man, I just fit all this stuff in this messenger bag. I ain't gonna lie, it's heavy as all get out. But look how much gear I fit in here, man. This is crazy. The only thing that didn't fit was my headphones. Um, I don't know, if I figure, if I configured it some kind of way, I probably could, but seriously, everything is in here, man. I got two tripods, basically two cameras and a drone, and my computer, tablet, everything, battery packs, everything fits in this bag, and it still doesn't look like a camera bag. I don't know, does it look like one to you? Well, now it does, since it has a tripod sticking out. Anyways, I need to unpack some of this stuff, because I ain't taking all this stuff with me right now. But I just wanted to showcase my bag, because, oh man, I love this bag. Papa's got a brand new bag, y'all, and I'm loving it to death. But look, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I just like bags, man. But look, if you like this video, go ahead and tap on that like button, smash on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one.